You know, I'm I'm a little bit um, I won't say preoccupied, but I'm really occupied with the media's influence and sexualiz- sexualization of young people, particularly girls on television. I think it is so bad on so many levels for the children growing up in our society. I think it is perpetuating a very bad sort of porn culture that we have right underneath the surface in this country where the statistics show that the porn Pornography industry makes more money than legitimate movies do. And there's just so much evil stuff right under the surface, so much sick, bad stuff. And you know what I'm talking about. And I think that there has to be an upholding of some kind of standards on the television stations that we now know that are watched by, on average, eight hours a day of people in our society, many of whom are juveniles. So listen to this. MTV executives have a new hit drama on their hands. And if you've seen this show and you're on either on Ustream or you're on the radio and you're listening to me, I really want you to call in now and tell me what you thought of it because I haven't seen it. The number is 203-845-3044. I mean it. I really want to hear. It's an MTV show and it's a brand new show. It's called Skins. And it says, in recent days, executives at the cable channel of MTV have become concerned that some scenes may violate federal child pornography statutes. That's how close they're going to the line. They're incredibly explicit. Okay, they talk about a... a, And then, by the way, these are 15, 16, and 17-year-old actors who have not acted before. They talk about their erectile dysfunction. Okay, and wait, there's more I want to read to you about this specifically. Okay, it's, they talk about, all right, they're saying that they're testing the limit of sexuality. They include simulated masturbation, implied sexual assault, and teenagers disrobing and getting into bed together. Can you tell me what public interest it serves for this kind of show to be on TV? One person is quoted as saying, I'm confident it's the most realistic show on television. But I'm bump. In what world? Maybe your world. Maybe the world. But does that mean it elevates the rest of us? Is that really what we should be showing and condoning and implicitly condoning? But, predictably enough, the show was off to a running start. It attracted 3.3 million people to its premiere on Monday night. It set a new first episode record for the channel among viewers ages 12 to 34. Exactly the demographic they're going for. Watched it. Exactly. How can you be proud of yourself at the end of your career, at the end of your life, if this smut is the stuff that you have transmitted to the next generation? It's just unbelievable. The New York Times says, with ads that feature groups of barely clothed teenagers, Skins is surely one of the most sexually charged programs that MTV has featured. Before it even had its premiere, the Parents Television Council, which is a TV watchdog group, labeled Skins, quote, the most dangerous program that has ever been foisted on your children. So now we already have the AOL parental controls. We know about the dangers of Internet. Now we're going to have to control the channels that our children can see on television as well. And I don't merely mean the pay-per-view. Maybe MTV has to become pay-per-view. Jill, you're pulling it up on the trailer. I appreciate it. You know what? I don't even have to look at it to know it's not the kind of show that I would want to see. What about you? And look at these young teens. Barely, they're not even uh, clothed, a lot of these young boys. Have you seen the show Skins? 203-845-3044. And what do you think of it? You can look it up on video now. The episodes are rated TVMA, indicating that, quote, the content may be unsuitable for viewers younger than 17. But who are we kidding? Let's wink, wink, and look the other way. That's exactly the viewer they're going for. They're going for the viewer 12 to 18. That's who they want. That's who they want to sell their ads to. That's who they want the kids to go to their parents and say, I want this and I need to have that. I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. And I think what's, what's really bad about it is that it isn't merely entertainment. It's the sexualizing of our youth. And that no grown-up who is looking over all of this says, no, we've gone too far. 
I am really upset that MTV, and by the way, it's not just MTV. It's the powers that be that control the ratings. It's the corporate conglomerates above MTV. It's an awful lot of people. They're all basically uh, putting in for this as something that they think is commendable, is something that we should be exposing our kids to, and I think they're wrong. I, I, I'm not suggesting that every program needs to be Leave it to Beaver, but how about one? Do we have one sitcom on television that extols the virtues of a mother and father who happen to live together with a family? And again, it doesn't have to be Leave it to Beaver. But years ago, years ago, there were families with fathers that sort of contributed a little bit to child rearing, right? You had Leave it to Beaver. The father actually, Ward, was the, the guy there. The mother was sort of was secondary. You had Father Knows Best. Nobody was better than, you know, Marcus Welby before he was Marcus Welby. You know who I mean, um... Oh, come on, with uh, Jane Wyatt and I, Robert Young. Thank you very much, Robert Young. And you had a lot of men that functioned as devoted, involved fathers. Tell me a sitcom with a devoted, involved dad. I mean, I think Modern Family has it. I'm told. I haven't been watching that. I'm told it's funny and that there are very modern, involved dads because there are two gay dads. But in terms of nuclear families, you don't see too much of that. You don't see too much of, um, tip, should I say not nuclear, should I say typical families? What's the right word? Everything is changing every minute. All our social mores are changing. Our language is changing. If I introduce someone as my partner, they're no longer assumed to be my business partner. They're assumed to be my sexual partner, like it's anybody's business. Anyway, anyway, it's a crazy thing. The English language is being gone topsy-turvy because we need to be sensitive to the way everybody feels about everything. But okay, in the meantime, maybe I should write the next sitcom. Maybe on that note, I will repair to some tropical aisle retreat, and I will write a funny family sitcom that actually has a dad in it. Where are the fathers? So anyway, MTV, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You're going for ratings. Sex has always sold. But you have a bigger obligation when your demographic is ages 12 and up, and you know that, then you have got to serve as some kind of a role model, too. It isn't enough to just show skin. And that's the way I feel about it.